Future Food Security, as FAO uh, most, mostly knows, this is uh, an issue that we're looking at, of course, not just currently, but also in the future. How can we ensure that everyone has accessibility to nutritious, affordable foods at all times? And so my mandate is to work on a, a future strategy for the United Arab Emirates. So we're developing this strategy as we speak now, and hopefully by Q4, end of Q4, uh, we'll have the strategy ready. And uh, the strategy will have two parts to it, so the short term to 2021, and then the long-term vision for future food security. And there's so many components to uh, food security. So food security is not just a government um, uh, file. It's something that starts from the individual, working all the way up to the country being a global player in, in the file. So I'm working on different levels with the FAO on this um, as our technical arm. So today I had meetings with the nutritional department, with the codex department, with the committee of food security. All meetings were extremely valuable um, to me as, uh, as getting information on what has been done on a global level, lessons learned uh, so that we basically build on what is already known and we don't reinvent the wheel again. And of course, uh, seeing His Excellency Da Silva is always a pleasure. He gives great advice and um, I thank you very much, the FAO, for their time today. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, as I, as I said, uh, food security is not just a government matter. It starts from the individual all the way to becoming a global player. So this takes all the aspects. So private sector will have a, a, a massive role in this as well. So the government has to, has to ensure the environment is correct for certain food systems to grow in the country. So ag tech is very, uh, very attractive now. So um, growing foods in a closed system where you're using very little water, this is very attractive for us. Uh, uh, changing the behavior of, of our kids uh, so that uh, in future they eat better foods um, so that their health is better, so that we live longer and we have a better quality of life. All these play a role, so the private sector, global partnerships, uh, these all play a, a very strong role in, um, in, in pursuing our action for, the, for this file. So it has a national priority for us, so even in, in the UAE we have an SDG council, so this council takes care of all the SDGs, including SDG number two. Uh, this council basically ensures that in the country, all local authorities, schools, private sector are all working towards the goals of the uh, 17 S SDGs. And this council uh, issues an annual report uh, to ensure that uh, the UAE is taking the necessary actions and commitments towards the S SDGs. So it's, it's very much aligned with our national agenda and with uh, ensuring that all the efforts in the country are put together and uh, given to this council to actually put together a report and ensure that everyone's working towards the same goals. Nice.